and we are live good windy friday april 5th it's 3 58 p.m and about five or six degrees celsius because we are sane and use the metric system up north i see cam in the house vivian johnson philip jeanette morales sheena roberts rebox pro marge dave and banger main jelly bean maddie michael collins michelle number one and everyone else thanks for tuning in i'm just gonna throw my gloves on it's a little bit colder than i thought it would be i was out recording earlier today i made a couple of videos and it wasn't quite so cold it certainly wasn't glove weather or anything like that all right i've got my Gloves on. Chrissy Donnelly, hello. There I am, ready to rock and roll. So for this one, we, <laughs> we're in Midtown, uh, not too far from where I live. And I'm meeting some friends uh, for some drinks and dinner around 6 p.m. And I'm meeting them downtown. So I thought, let's record the walk downtown. I might be a little too inebriated to make a video after the fact although I will have my equipment with me so that is the plan for the day also the last live stream I did was interrupted and I wasn't able to resume it I was dealing with a host of problems but I suspect one of the biggest problems with that one was wireless interference from the built-in wireless mic, so I've reverted to using my older DJI Mic 1 for this one. I've got the funny feeling that my fly is undone. Let me make sure that it's not. There we go. All right, I will not be horrifying anyone on the way. So I'm gonna cross over to the other side of Young Street. Normally when I do these streams, I head south down this side here. Jelly Bean says, drunk live later. It's possible, I guess. Anything's possible. But we're going south. Down the east side of Young. Some raindrops fall from the sky. I don't have an umbrella. I'm assuming this is going to be mild enough that there's not really going to be a worry in terms of the gear. The Blue Jays were winning 3-0 going into the bottom of the ninth. I was actually hoping that game would end when I set the stream for 4 p.m. I was thinking the game would end around 3.50. But it was going on longer than I thought and I already posted 4 p.m. So here we go. Oh, that's new. Renzi Exchange, Kamaya Hairdressing, Vinny Tattoo. There used to be like a vape shop up there, I think. Millsy 2 can't believe the construction is done. Oh, but it's never ending. This ends. New stuff begins. Brian Carroll says greetings from Ireland. Well, happy belated St. Patty's Day to you. Let me adjust the angle here. And greetings, Brett and everyone else. Just a friendly reminder to hit that like button. It helps with the algorithm or dislike if you don't like what you see. It's all good. And do subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified when I go live next. I'm not sure when that'll be. Did I go to the Bad Bunny concert last night? No. No, I did not. 
I got a little bit caught up on Tokyo Vice. There's the Duke of Kent pub. David Warren, 30 bucks. Holy shit, David Warren. Thank you so much for the $30, David Warren. Wow. Your support is much appreciated. Thank you, David. Happy Friday to you and everyone else, but mostly just to you. Just kidding. Kinda. <laughs> We continue south. Clem Lowe says the Blue Jays win. If they can take two of three, they'll escape this. 10 games on the road with a five and five record. Two teams with absolutely dead lineups battling each other. There's a chance. Jerry L in the chat. Where are we going today? We are going south to a bar. Action DJ, thanks for tuning in and confirming the win. Look at this nice wide sidewalk. So much room. Why are there not protected bike lanes going in? Yeah. Cam loves BMW. I caught a BMW making a turn at this intersection on a video earlier. You might say, what's the deal with that? Well, there's no left or right turns. That's one of the improvements they made. We'll take a look up at the E condos. We know it won't be the Black Bull. No, it won't. <laughs> Steph Andreas. Five bucks, thank you. Steph Andreas, sorry if I mispronounced your name. All right, thank you so much, Steph, for the support and the super chat. as we continue our march south down the east side of Young Street from Midtown. I think I live stream this route maybe once a month or so, or at least in one of the two directions on this part of Young. to asking if I'll be live streaming the eclipse. Uh, if there's clear skies, maybe. I thought about going to the falls, but it's gonna be an absolute gong show traffic wise getting there and back. Also, I think all the signals are gonna be kind of weak to live stream with everyone using their phones. It seems like the entire world is going to Niagara Falls, so. If we have clear skies, I might just stream the not-so-total eclipse from here. Funny story on that, I ordered a pack of solar eclipse glasses from Amazon. I got six of them, and Amazon just sent me a refund for them. Apparently they were <laughs> not certified. I guess Amazon didn't want to be catching any liabilities for causing eye damage. I'm sure they're still fine, but they're just cheap knockoffs from China, I guess. 
but I ordered another pair of much nicer glasses that just arrived today. Yeah, Mr. Mountain Hiker, it is insane. Jeanette Morales, five bucks from Jeanette. Thank you so much, all the way down in Houstonia. Thank you, Jeanette. Next time you're out and a boot up in Canada, let us know. I also got a notice from Lyft to pre-order any rides during the pandemic. I guess they're thinking that might be a busy time. I don't know, maybe it's just a marketing thing they're doing. I'll be out with your Action 4 on Monday. I'm not too excited about the prospect of making a pre-recorded Eclipse video. <laughs> Just because by the time I upload it, there will already be like 10 million of them on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. But if we can live stream it, I think we can get a pretty good audience. Good afternoon, Whitby Dude. There's Sansotai Ramen. Next to a West Elm. Yeah, Chris Mills, 3 nothing. Christopher Ringland says Young and Egg was your first neighborhood when you moved to Toronto over 20 years ago. Yeah, it is amazing to see the change here. For the longest time, I think Young and Davisville was the best kept secret in Toronto. It wasn't really a secret, but it was full of a lot of apartment stock with very reasonable rent in a great part of the city. Of course, now the concept of reasonable rent in Toronto isn't really a thing, or Canada for that matter. Yeah, if there's clear skies, I might do an eclipse live. I might not go down to the lake. Again, there's going to be too many people down there. I don't think we'll have a good connection. It'll kind of like be doing New Year's. Might just find an open space up in Midtown with a vantage point of the sun. We're at Manor Road. was a very popular and well-known restaurant called Five Doors North across the street, but that is closed up. There's now an Indian restaurant in that spot. As we watch this mixer reverse into its site. Mariachis. The most important American play of the century, Inheritance. Never even heard of it. Yeah, 
Five Doors North was good. I've had a birthday there before. Baby Shark Brooklyn in the house. And we're already over 300 viewers, just 15 minutes in. Thank you guys. The Chesterfield Shop. I just bought a sectional. That one there, 6,700 bucks. Just a little bit expensive. Acai Brazil. I don't think that's true, would be do. Maybe I'll look that up. Right in Thompson McGuire. Greetings, Christopher Ringland, 10 bucks. Thank you for walking my old hood, bringing back a lot of memories. Keep up the great work, Christopher. Thank you so much for the support and the super chat. You're very welcome. Glad you're enjoying seeing your old stomping grounds. There is StruckTube where you can order stuff, but they might not actually ever get around to delivering it. we continue our march south. Rebox Pro, $2. Smash the like button. Thank you, Rebox Pro. I ran into you and Henry on the last live stream. It was good to see you again. Thank you so much for the support. Ran into you guys at Dundas Square. I kind of bit off more than I could chew. <laughs> trying to stream with the setup in the rain. All because I forgot my umbrella. Wendy says it's struck tube like Ikea. It's similar in level. I would say price and quality wise, it seems to be similar. Definitely a step down from like EQ3 or CB2. Uh, those places can get wildly expensive. And I mentioned all the apartment stock at Young and Davisville. There's a number of them. No hot dogs at StruckTube. Yep, no hot dogs, no meatballs, no fish and chips. No oddly flavored sodas. Sodas masquerading as juices. Too bad on the east side. Circles and Squares Bakery.
Someone was just taking a very close look at what I was holding. George, $2. Hi, all. Hello, George. Thank you so much for the $2, George. Hello to you as well. Thank you for the support. as we continue on heading south. Brad Palmer in the house. Johnny Stratt. That's me, hello. Hey, good to see you. <laughs> that happens a lot these days. Happened on the video that I posted this morning. Johnny, follow the cops. There's a second cup. Thai Express and Mr. Sub. Is that all they have in here? I thought they had... Something else in there. You know what? I'm going to mute the audio for a second, guys. One sec. If you're wondering what's going on, I just need <laughs> to use the facility. So I'm going to mute this and put the camera where you can't see anything. All right, just give me a second. Sorry about that, eh? It said, please ask a tennis for the key, so I was a little worried. But it was open, so no harm done. be a customer on another day. Right, let me get my gloves back. Yeah, you guys can hear it just fine. Sweet.
sorry. It is a. Uh, it is what it is. At least it's, it's so weird. Hey man, I'm a human. You're human. I don't want to leave my camera out. Could have kept you muted. Yeah, there's a first time for everything. We're all adults. We are all adults. All right, now it's time to walk out of here and hopefully avoid any awkward confrontations. There's a first time for everything. That's my first time ever doing a bathroom stream. Did I eat there? <laughs> I had a bubbly sparkling water <laughs> just before I left my apartment. I've done that. I've left the camera outside of the washroom before when I've gone, but I've never brought it into <laughs> the washroom before. Anyways, there's a number of <laughs> subway trains going by to and from Davisville Station. That's the headquarters of the TTC over there. There's also a mini subway yard. Christopher says, when's the last time someone's even gone into a Mr. Sub? Hey, I was in that one a few weeks ago. There's a good move. Let's block the crossing and prevent the pedestrian from going. Smooth. How about stopping behind the line, idiot? Sheena Roberts, five pounds. When you gotta go, you gotta go, eh? Five <laughs> pounds. It's my first ever uh, super chat for doing the act. Thank you, <laughs> Sheena Roberts. Our moderator all the way from the UK. Carlos says Mr. Sub better than Subway. They do have better produce than Subway. Sometimes you can get carrots and mushrooms. Their bread is even better. I think there's less gym mats in it. Clem says I lost five pounds. So there's a train. Oh, that's an empty train. But that's about as fast as trains roll through here. I think this is still a speed restricted zone. It is painfully slow going between Davisville and St. Clair. Oh, and Elsa's Mr. Sub is way better than Subway. I don't know about way better, but I definitely agree on better. Like he says, giving the word stream a new meaning. Uh, I don't believe any cherry blossoms have gone off yet or started to blossom. Hyde Park is definitely a spot to see them. UFT Robarts Library, another one. Trinity Bellwood's probably the second best spot to see them, but you'll see. A few of them scattered around Mount Pleasant and some other areas. I think they're definitely gearing up for cherry blossoms in Japan and Korea at the moment.
ever since I don't think many could keep up with me. I'm in good shape. I think a lot of people could. Good walking shape isn't necessarily good shape. I could walk all day, but if I was on that show, Physical 100, unless it was a walking challenge, I'd probably be out in the first round. I might have survived that treadmill challenge. Well, that, they just used that to rank everyone. I might have made the top 50, but that would have been that. Maybe the next round where they played keep away with the ball, I just would have picked a, a really big bodybuilder or something and tried to be quick enough to stay away from them. Yeah, Derek, we talked about that. I might. If the cloud cover allows a clear view of what's going on, I'll probably get out and try to stream it. Charles Sweet says, curious, what footwear? Ultra Escalant 3s. I almost wore my new Zero HFS2 barefoot shoes. But we're wearing the Ultras today. Nice wide toe box, zero drop action. The four shoes I wear primarily are these Ultra Escalants, Ultra Lone Peaks. Those are more trail shoes. And then I have a pair of Vivo Barefoots and the brand new Zero Barefoots. Lisa Marie Ross says, Johnny, you look a lot younger than your age. Thank you. Although when I did the Guess Your Age game at the CNE, the guy nailed it. Bobby says, get some Brooks. Uh, I'd much prefer Ultras. I don't like any shoe where the heel is higher than the toe. I think that encourages walking in a poor form. Heel and toe should be the same height. Walk on the pads of your feet, not your heels. And they're just too narrow. Almost all shoe brands are too narrow, at least for me. Toronto Sweet, grab some Merrill. Merrill makes nice wide shoes. They even have a few pairs of barefoot shoes. as we are making our way into the Young and St. Clair neighborhood. So that was the quote unquote most boring stretch of the walk. Carlos asking if the sun's on vacation this week. Yeah, it has been overcast the entire week pretty much. And we had the most rain we've had ever on a day in April two days ago. That was the day I tried to stream. Corn Beef says the other day it was Toronto's wettest day in something like 150 years. I'd believe it. It rained it non-stop the entire day. It did not let up. I have a video that I recorded on that day going up tomorrow. Mike Landry, two bucks. Mike Landry. Good to see you, sir. Thank you so much for the two dollars. I'm just moving something around in my pockets. My keys are kind of digging into my thigh here. And it is 
is sufficiently annoying me enough. Let me see here how far I am walking wise to where I'm going so I can inform my friend if I'll be early or not. Directions. No, it says about an hour and 16. Right, I have sent him a message. We'll be resuming this walk in a second. But we have over 410 viewers. Thank you, guys. Imagine if I was such an idiot. I just walked off and forgot my camera. That would suck, wouldn't it? There we go. Message deleted by Johnny Strides. Sorry guys, I did not mean to delete those messages, whatever got deleted. That was not intentional. Mark S. was hidden by Johnny Strides. Thank you, Sheena, for unhiding. Mark, that <laughs> was not intentional. I think my touchscreen gloves worked some fun when I pulled my phone out of my pocket. Maybe I should just switch to wearing Timberlands. Maybe like George Costanza. Steve 35, 699. Thank you. Steve 35. The most excellently priced out super chat. Thank you, Steve. For the 699, reminding me of the Travel Fund 69 channel. Jeff will be going to Niagara Falls to live stream. And I know that because he's already made that stream public on his channel. And I've chatted with him. Brad Palmer, $5 for a cold IPA after the stream. Brad, you must know exactly where I'm going. There will most definitely be a cold IPA after the stream. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Steve35. As we continue to make our way south, there's some construction going on there. I think there used to be a New Balance store where those cranes are. Try Stonewall beer. If they have it where I'm going, I'll try it. I don't think they do. I've been to this pub before. Honk. We are going downtown and then to the east side. stream should wrap up sometime just before 6 p.m. 
anyone remember Pony Runners? I remember Pony. I also remember the Hyundai Pony. Kind of similar to an old Volkswagen Rabbit, wasn't it? And we are at Young and St. Clair where the streetcars no longer roam. Hopefully again in about five, six months. You can do it. Run, run, run. St. Clair Station is just in on the left. Paul Blunt, 699. Hey, Johnny, ever consider a pub crawl stream? There's an idea. One of the problems when you go into the pubs, though, you get hit with music. My stream will most certainly be demonetized, but it might get shut off as well. But that's a fun idea. Thank you, Paul Blunt, for the 699. Much appreciated. Yeah, if it wasn't for the music, that would be a good idea. That's something that would have worked well in Thailand. There's a 97 Young to Steel's bus. There's an entrance to St. Clair Station just on the left here. And earlier today, I ended up taking a bus that went to St. Clair Station. And I recorded the ride. I'm not sure if that video will appear on this channel or if it'll go on the other channel. After I recorded a video, I thought, let's just turn the camera on and see if we can record a good bus ride. I think it turned out pretty good, actually. Johnny, would you consider a trip to Dubai? Uh, maybe just to see it. Maybe for a few days. I guess you have to do all your drinking in your hotel room or your hotel. Adam something posted a very interesting video on Dubai. Sure, I'll go see anywhere once, but I don't think it would be a place I would fall in love with. Although it would be awesome to check out the skyscrapers. Carlos says, Johnny, do you like the Firkin pubs? Sure. What's for dinner today? Ah, for dinner today. We'll see what's on the menu at the pub where I'm going. Johnny, what about India? India would be neat. That's a country I'd like to see. I know I said I wasn't traveling for a while, but... I think I'm gonna start looking for flights over the summer, somewhere far, far away. Gam says pub food is a ripoff. I don't know, fast food is a ripoff. You can often get a burger and fries at a pub for Almost the same as like a Big Mac combo. Mark D, if the skies are clear, if they're not clear, I won't. But I'm gonna to try to do it from Toronto. I know it won't be the total eclipse here, but 
there's too much risk in leaving Toronto in case the skies aren't clear or the cell phone signal isn't strong enough because there's a hundred million people all live streaming. George, two pounds. Cloud shoes are very good. I don't even know what this is you speak of. But <laughs> thank you for the two pounds, George. I'll be sure to look into cloud shoes. I think I know what you might be talking about. Zeus says greetings from Dubai. Greetings. So this part of Young Street slopes downwards, so it's going to be downhill for much of the way. Dangerous, but just about the most adorable thing you will ever see. <laughs> that little girl in a helmet clinging on to daddy's scooter. They might have been exceeding the weight limit of that thing. Marge says euros. Sorry if I confused pounds and euros. But we get like 99.8 or something percent total coverage here, which is not at all the same as 100%. I did not, Espero. Yeah, Christopher John, the idea that our winters are these frozen, unbearable seasons, I think, is a bit overblown, at least in this part. Winter was fairly mild. You could get away with the running shoes most of the days. I only wore my boots two days all winter. The place is called Popular Chinese Diner, but no one's in it. And there's plans for a 49-story mixed-use tower to, with retail to go in here. If they're replacing the existing building, I think they're going to have to rehome all those people and then offer them comparable rate units in the new building when it goes up. Conk. Why stop behind the line when you can stop right over it? I mean, they could see just as well if they stop behind it. Ram is waiting to see how chaotic Go and the TTC get after the eclipse, yeah. I think a lot of people might be heading down to the waterfront for it, and that's the reason why I wouldn't do that unless maybe I had access to Wi-Fi that wasn't going to be crowded. I think everyone with a connection is going to be FaceTiming or Instagramming or anything. Marcus says the Toronto Blue Jays need to be champs again. Well, maybe they could go back in time and keep AA and avoid this atrocity that is Ross Atkins and Mark Shapiro. Same who asking if I felt an earthquake today. I did not. That looks like a big doodle, a part doodle dog. This 
Pearl says country pub style. That 97 seat is getting as far as Eglinton Station. There's the old North Toronto train station. Now currently an LCBO. Oh, there was an earthquake in NYC. Maybe that's why Mike Stanton struck out two times or three times in his first two at bats. Kikuchi laid one right over the plate and the ump didn't call it. And then he went down swinging on strike four. Never says it looks like the rain is coming. It's kind of looked like this all day, though. Well, we've got... I can't see it, but there's a freight train rumbling by. I don't think we're in an area that's very prone to earthquakes. There's that gorgeous LCBO building. And a freight train making its way across the Midtown CP tracks. Fresh black truffles, Passover menu. We're at Marlboro Avenue. Zanier says, happy Friday, happy Friday to you. Bill Johnson says, the Canadian shield rules. Yes, protecting us from those pesky earthquakes. That building over there used to be, or used to house a Staples. Now it's being incorporated into a new condo. There's another knucklehead that doesn't realize you can stop behind the line and see traffic clearly in both directions. Now you're blocking this person from turning left or turning left from being able to see me. I don't know, I think we should instate or implement mandatory retesting every 10 years. And to pay for it, how about we make people pay for their test? Even better, we strap cameras to everyone's car. And they just pick a random 20 minutes and use that as their test. Oh, sorry, you failed on your drive home last night. You may have been drunk. That would not be feasible. <laughs> you can dream though. Mary W says I've been saying that for a long time. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like I drive too. I would still have to get retested and pay for it. I'd have no problems with that.
we are very near Rosedale Station. Don't eat the squids' theory too, please. Some drivers on the road took a test in the 1960s. I took one in the 90s. I mean, sometimes as a driver, you do have to block the crossing, right? Like if there's something obstructing your view, you do have to creep out and get in the way to make sure it's clear. That's understandable. But that guy I called back out back there had no excuse. Nathan. We are marching along nicely. Still got a long, long ways to go though before I get to the pub. But I'll be bringing you along with me. There's Belmont Street. Johnny Road Rage channel. Is it road rage if you're just making smart ass comments about people who have no business driving? Yeah, Toronto Swede, sometimes. Sometimes a car will get stuck in an intersection because a cyclist blew through a light and they had to brake or another driver did something stupid. There's always understandable reasons. But most of the time that's not why. Those towers going up on the right are in the Yorkville neighborhood. There's two cranes dangling from the top of very tall towers. And we're at 449 viewers, thank you. Do like, subscribe, hit the bell, yada yada. I'll be premiering a video tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. EST. And another one on Sunday at 9 a.m. EST and pretty much every day. So do join us if you want to hang out and chat a bit. Tomorrow's video is only 20 minutes though, so it's a little bit on the short side. Detroit Dale says drivers on their phones. Yeah, last year I saw a driver double parked. No four ways on, nothing, just sitting in the middle of the road on his phone. I leaned over and yelled into his window to get off his phone and he told me where to shove it. I'm like, yeah, I'm the one that should be told off. That's the way it goes. Ram Sat, $5, have a pint of beer, Johnny, or a half pint, I forgot what $5 gets you nowadays. Ram sat, unless it's like a happy hour special at a really good place. I think that's about half, but there's nothing wrong with having just half a pint. Thank you so much, Ram sat, for the support and the super chat.
as we make our way south towards Young and Bloor. We're almost downtown. Greetings, Harjot. Uh, it says there's a good pub on one of those side streets. This is the start of Davenport Road on the right. Or I guess the southern terminus of it, and it's the northern terminus of Church Street on the left. Paul says that Canadian Tire sucks more <laughs> than the usual one. The usual ones do. They recently totally re-renovated it. I found it's a little bit better since then. Bistro. Somebody call Ken. A burrito boy's moving in. And we've got a new Timmy's and there's a new Starbucks going in. Detroit Dale, $4.99. Detroit Dale, thank you so much for the $4.99. I should get myself to Detroit. It's been a long time since I've been there. I really like this condo unit, or this condo building. It's nice when you don't get a typical glass box facade. And although the balconies are tiny, they at least offer pretty good privacy. Kurt says Ken will cut the ribbon <laughs> for the opening of that burrito, boys. Yeah, Christos. There's been a number of times where I'm getting off the subway and there's someone standing smack on the opposite side of the doors waiting to get on. And they don't move out of the way. That's a quick way to meet someone's shoulder or elbow. And we all have our moments, right? We've all stepped on an elevator before everyone's gotten off by mistake. I think it's how people handle those situations that make all the difference. If someone says, I'm sorry, it's amazing how much better the situation gets. A little humility, we're all humans. There's a look up at One Bluer West, which will hit super tall status later this year. There's one blur east. A couple of monsters at Young and Bluer. And there's a new flagship Lululemon moving in. And so I'm guessing the Lululemon in the village, Yorkville Village, that is, will be closing to make way for that new one. And there's where Nordstrom Rack used to be. And there's a ballroom moving into that building. And apparently there's a ballroom moving into Young and Dundas too, which I think is excellent news. We've been losing bowling alleys left and right. Trump says above 300 meters. Yep, the traditional definition of super tall is over a thousand feet or 300 meters. 
And believe it or not, we only have one building in the city over a thousand feet. And it's not even a building, depending on who you ask. That's the CN Tower, of course. But there are several super talls under construction and approved, soon to be under construction. But there's a ballroom, I think, moving into the basement right here. Oh, it's open already. Ballroom Bowl. This place is always busy and a lot of fun. There's one down at Richmond and John. And they do a lot of corporate events during the weekdays. Jellybean says drinking and throwing balls seems unsafe. Well, it's got to be safer than drinking and throwing axes. Kurt prefers candle pin bowling. Hey, this is Canada. We like five pin bowling. Paul says it's brass rail time. We just strolled right by the brass rail. I didn't pay any attention to it. There's so many people on the sidewalks. And just trying to coexist with everyone. Simon's Gordon, yeah, it'll be neat to have a super tall up there. I remember back when that CIBC and Hudson's Bay Tower were the tallest buildings in the area. Well, them and the Manulife Center. Yep, the gas works was just south of here. The street has transformed a lot. I wonder if that building is still owned by the Church of Scientology. possible to abreast on a narrow sidewalk. Speaking of bars, there's a really good one right there called the Artful Dodger. Excellent, excellent people run it. Very good food, very reasonable prices. I just let these slow pokes back in front of me. Hero T. I think that guy is training his doggo. What kind of drink do I usually get at bars? In the winter, I like darker beers. 
stouts, brown ales, and I think today is an IPA kind of day. I'm getting a message. Let's see if that's my friend. I take my glove off for a sec to fingerprint unlock my screen. Lisa says shoppers charges 50 cents more than the same items at other stores. Often more than that, the markup. Although shoppers is the kind of store, it's more like a rabba. I don't think you can depend, dependably shop there. It's really more for like getting grocery items in a pinch. Amsterdam smokes for rent. They did not last very long. This is one of the few stretches of Young Street that kind of feels like the Young Street of old. A lot of small, non-chain businesses on both sides of the street. Of course, in the 90s, they didn't have bubble tea shops. It's always funny when you see a spa advertised and the pictures are of men getting massages. <laughs> yeah, we know what's going on there. Oh, we're getting rained on. We're at Wellesley. Oh, we walked right by Dundonald. Wellesley Station. It's just off in that direction. As long as we avoid a heavy downpour, I should be able to get through any rain. You're amazed at how many bubble tea shops and cannabis shops there are. There are a lot of international students in this area from a certain part of the world, and that's had a big influence on a lot of the businesses you see here. Home-based chicken, Korean style. It is definitely raining right now. There's the egg club. I think that lady was having words with me. I wasn't having it. She was like, you effing people always recording. I just kept walking. Sorry, lady, go get a therapist. some shelter from the rain for a second here. This stretch of Young has really changed and not for the better. A whole bunch of interesting retail has been replaced by this. Retail spots that are too expensive for the former tenants to move in. I do like the overhang over the sidewalk, though.
used to be a Wendy's here. At the time, it was one of the few Wendy's downtown. Dickie's Barbecue Pit. Camp says Rip Wendy's. Well, Wendy's has been making a bit of a resurgence in the city. They've had a number of new locations open up. Another one in Scotia Plaza has closed as well, though. for all the complaints it gets, I think, is one sexy looking high rise. Apparently a bit of a nightmare to live in though. Styles going on. Styles, it's a weird way to say it, but on the north corner of Young and College. So we're at College Station. There's the video coming up very soon. Starting at this very intersection. Johnson says aura when you don't need water or we're promised a path connection that never came it's more for the shops at aura owners Young and Dundas. It's a neat mural. I checked that out. On a recent video. Edward says Toronto is so tidy compared to Paris. Yeah, Paris was awesome, but there are some areas where I would say the city compares favorably to Paris. Accessibility probably being the biggest one. But when you build your metro stations 100 years ago, I guess that's to be expected. Yep, the world's biggest bookstore is gone. That was just south of here. This little stretch south of Girard, I had a lot of memories coming here as a kid in the 90s fake ID shops, arcades, sketchy people, like there's no tomorrow. It definitely had a vibe to it. Christo says, how many damn steps can he walk? I've already recorded a few videos today, although one of them was a transit one. I might record one after the bar. We'll see how I'm feeling.
There's where Concord Sky is going up, former home of the Big Slice on that corner. And an urban format IKEA. There's another one of those in the city over at Scarborough Town Center. There's another enormously tall tower going up there. I'm gonna walk on the outside of the scaffolding. Give you guys a better vantage point. Did I skip lunch? I had a smoothie for lunch. I knew I was going out and I probably wasn't eating healthy tonight, so I ate light earlier today. Chelsea Hotel just over there. Toronto Metropolitan University, formerly Ryerson, coming up on the left, but we missed the brass rail, but we're not missing their sister property, arguably the more iconic Zanzibar. If I were mayor, the first thing I would do is grant that Zanzibar sign heritage status. Salad King, very popular Thai restaurant among university students. Used to be located, I think, on Gould Street, just around the corner here. Excuse me, are you Johnny Stride? That's me. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I have a photo with you? Sure. Do you want to be on the stream? No, thanks. Okay. <laughs> All right, nice to meet you. Thank Cheers. You. Just ran into a friendly viewer who politely declined to be on video. That's why I ask. <laughs> I'll just tear it down and hang it up at <laughs> that Square. Yeah, I like the uh, Sam the Record Man sign. There's the Student Center. There's a big food market here on the left. Five guys, mediocre, expensive burgers, really good french fries. So on the left here, there was an Adidas store, but I think there's gonna be a new Freedom Mobile headquarters moving in as well as the ballroom is going to be moving.
hand is here. Hello to you and everyone else for tuning in. It's been a fun stream so far. We started up at Young and Eglinton. I just marched straight south and down Young. Game stop. Former Nordstrom over there. I believe that space is being divided up and just turned into regular retail. We need Steve Grant and everyone else. There's an excellent hot pot coming up on the left. Boy, I'm starting to feel pretty hungry. I allow hot pot. Sadly, they are not licensed. Great, great hot pot, though. And a fun atmosphere. Yeah, it's fun to order in there. You use a tablet to place your order. And if you don't know what the hell you're doing, it's all the more fun. This is Shooter Street. Daniela, hello. Getting a message here. Let me just check my phone. We'll take a look at Massey Hall while I do that. Johnny's Mukbang Fridays. Oh, I don't think anyone wants to see anyone else eat, let alone me. But someone asked earlier if I like firkins. There's a firkin just here on the left. I thought that guy was trying to hail a cab at first. <laughs> and that used to be Hendrix. Now it's a Milestones. Well, I guess the Milestones at Richmond and John will be closing pretty soon. I was never a fan of the Eaton Center facade along Young Street, this kind of fake retail. I think it's long overdue for an overhaul. Edward asking <laughs> for some sunshine. Hopefully on eclipse day, we have nice clear skies. And yeah, we've made it down to the north end of the financial district. Queen Street here closed due to construction of the Ontario Line. Streetcars have been replaced by buses and are running on different routes. 
Lisa likes the Massey Tower. Yeah, if I was on the other side of the street, I would have panned up and got a view of it. I think it's really well done. And I like the name of it. Tip of the hat to some of the city's history. This is Richmond Street. So on the left is the St. Lawrence neighborhood. On the right, the financial district. This is a westbound one-way street. Is there any pickleball in Toronto? I believe there is. Where? I couldn't tell you. There's Dean Inn Coffee Company on the last Johnny Stumble's live stream. I set up a camera from the patio there. That was playing in the background of that live stream. It's over on my other channel. There's a, another good cafe, Sud. Every time I've been in there, I haven't been able to get a table. And you can see where they tried to match the old building with the new on the left. I think that's a swing and a miss. Do I have any information on the timeline of the new construction line? Well, I do have information on that. The company in charge with overseeing that project or the provincial agency is called Metrolinx and I don't think they could erect a lemonade stand let alone a subway line so I would say the timeline is infinite and we've turned left on Adelaide Street and East Mountain one-way street And a look at the Skyscraper Canyon through the financial district to the west, but we are marching to the east side. Ching Lane. I'm assuming that's someone's last name that was named after. It is Victoria Street. We're about to pass. I believe there's a Sansa Thai ramen just up here on the corner. I went there right after it opened. I did a walk up Victoria Street on the channel not too long ago. I remember going to that Sansutai. They've got one at Young and Eglinton now as well. I think ramen has kind of replaced pho as the go-to soup dish across the city. There's so many ramen restaurants. There used to be pho restaurants everywhere. There still are, but not as many. Like a good estimate would be around 10 years, says Robert Parker. Again, it's Metrolinx. I would triple that. Will I be alive to see the Ontario line operating? The magic eight ball says doubtful.
Crystal says, am I walking to the harbor front? No, I would have kept going straight or turned right, but we went east. I've got a date with a pub and probably some fish and chips and three or four IPAs. Hartik, you better write the CEO of YouTube a complaint <laughs> if you missed the notification to this one. This is Church Street coming up. And notice they have these lights in the intersection specific to people in the bike lane. And that is necessary. They moved the bike lanes over to the left side. But if cars have a left turn, they have to have a red light for the cyclist, so it makes a lot of sense. That alone probably saves some lives. St. James Park and St. James Cathedral, just on the south side of the street. We're going to guess Parliament House for the fish and chips. That's certainly a guess. All right, Christos, have fun cleaning your grill. I'm slightly jealous to hear that. Here's a look over at St. James. Oh, look at that, the Google sign has gone up. From their new Canadian headquarters. Lisa making a guess. And we shall continue. I think this will be the week, or next week will be the week. I do some two-wheeled videos, maybe a live stream. Get the scooters and e-bikes revved up. I have a new single speed that's still configured as a fixed gear. I'm gonna have to fix that. And here's an awesome, awesome place, AAA. Quiet, please. Hey, AAA bar, be a good neighbor by keeping it quiet when you are outside. All right. Live stream restarted. Sorry, guys. We can thank the Rogers gods for that, for a little hiccup, connection hiccup. Well, we take in a fabul fabulous view of the skyline. I'm sure we lost some viewers. Godspeed Johnny's live stream. Yeah, guys, sorry about that. Evil Rogers getting in the way of things, but we're alive and well, no worries. Camera battery 27%. Whoops. If that happens again, just stick with it. Yeah, we lost like a hundred viewers, it looks like. Bow concept. A hoity toity. Place I can't see the price on that sectional, but 
sure it's something stupid like eight or nine thousand dollars. As we go east on Adelaide Street West, we're about to go by the first ever post office in Canada. Isn't that cool? Lisa imagines I'm almost done. We have George Brown College on the south side of the street. This is George Street. It's always an interesting time walking up George Street. Mark D asking if I got my new sofa yet. No, the sectional pieces have not arrived. They're gonna call me to finalize the shipping date. I said two days before it gets delivered, they'll call me and give me a day with a non-negotiable shipping window. Good thing for me, I have nothing better to do most days. We've had an Amazon thief on my floor in my building. I had one package go missing in like the last probably very long time, as long as I can think of. And another neighbor said he had a package go missing. And he's setting up a camera that goes on the other side of his peephole. And he'll be able to see right down our entire hallway. And that includes in front of my apartment. So I'm kind of waiting for something to get stolen so we can bust whoever it is. Hopefully they live in our building so they're easy to catch. Have I checked out Wayfair? Yeah, I have. What I don't like about Wayfair is for something like a sofa, you can't go sit on it and see it in person. Thank you, George. Jeanette had a thousand dollar Amazon package stolen once. Yeah, I have no sympathy for people stealing Amazon packages. If I knew there was no camera, I'd probably kick the shit out of them and just tell them that they, th or tell the cops <laughs> that they threatened me. I'm only half joking when I say that, but fuck you if you steal stuff. At least we have eyes on our hallway now. Lisa says you'd never buy a couch online. Yeah, where I bought it from had a showroom. I was able to test it. Some things you can buy online, like maybe a bed frame, but I say that, but I bought the most important thing ever, my mattress online, and it came in a box. And it turned out to be a glorious decision. Yeah, Ben, hopefully you got the cops involved. Ironically, what was stolen from me was a Samsung tracking tag. <laughs> so, like, I wish that came pre-activated. We could see right where it went. But I didn't even have to do anything. Even though there was a picture of the package right in front of my apartment door. I just clicked item not received and it refunded me instantly. I think if you have an account in good standing, and you've taken hundreds of deliveries without incident, they'll just go ahead and take your word for it. 
make sure there's no one coming in the bike lane, but there's a pretty cool view there. Oh my God, it's James. Glad you enjoy Nightbot services. It was a bit controversial when I introduced Nightbot. Some of the mods weren't a fan. But I think it takes away most of the mindless modding. New building going up, but I'm around the corner from where I'm going. So we're gonna end the stream. I wanna thank everyone who tuned in. I wanna thank everyone who sent support. Holy cow, you guys sent a lot of supers today. I really appreciate it. I wanna thank our mods for their excellent work. Marge, Sheena, Vivian, Action DJ. I apologize if I missed any. Thanks to our channel members, Patreon supporters. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell if you want to be notified when I go live next. But we're gonna tune out or tune out now. When I sign off from these streams, it does take me about 20, 30 seconds to actually end the stream. So it will say it's alive for a little bit. But be rest assured it will not be. Thank you, Brad Palmer, Wendy, Sammy, Rebox Pro, Vivian. Marge and everyone else, have a good day, A, and I will catch you on the next one. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. EST, stop by and jump in the chat.